Teammate Joe Maurer, who's a pretty good hitter himself, said that what makes Sano so good is not only his power, but his patience when he steps up to the plate. Let's just say it, the U.S. women's basketball team is absolutely dominant. The Americans haven't lost a game at the Olympics since 1992, which coincidentally is the year that I was born. The same thing will happen again tomorrow for this team. Another round of two days, first a walkthrough starting at 1030 and then helmet practice from 245 to 5. The $1.1 billion U.S. Bank Stadium will not just be a location, but an epicenter of excitement, opportunity, and a whole lot of Minnesota Purple pride. It was Tyler Duffy who stepped up to the mound for the Twins, looking to prove he belongs in the starting rotation after a couple rough showings. Well, he made a point throwing a perfect game through six innings, and his team actually backed his performance in New York. Tonight, U.S. Bank Stadium will open its doors for the first sporting event, and although it's home of the Minnesota Vikings, tonight it's a different kind of football. Tory Hunter says it's the crowd. He says the fans have been with them since the beginning and through the highs and lows of the season. He also mentioned the emotional feel that the team gets when they play at Target Field. And as a young team, that's something that they really feed off of. Here's the surest sign the Minnesota Timberwolves are an up-and-coming team. They'll play this year on Christmas Day. So we're just a few days away until the Summer Olympics get underway in Rio, and it looks like the U.S. team is having a lot of fun ahead of Friday's opening ceremony. The Stewartville girls golf team recently finished runner-up in their section tournament, coming in just behind the top-ranked team in the state. But for two girls on the team, the season's not over quite yet. There's nobody else I'd rather go to state with, and we're basically best friends. For one, it's her final state tournament. Kind of my last year, so it's kind of all or nothing. Just go all in and do the best I can. And for the other, it's her first. It's something I've been looking forward to so for so long, and because you always hear everybody, it's like, oh, I went to state, I did this, and I had so much fun, and it's like, yeah, well, I can tell that to my kids someday that I went to state, and you can too if you want to. These two girls played a key role in Stewartville's success this season. Well, Kayla's gave us good senior leadership this year, and Jordan, the junior, just kind of fought and hard and played well all year. One of the most difficult parts of golf is the mental aspect, but this team finds peace of mind in not taking golf or life too seriously. You know, golf's all about having fun. It's, you know, golf's just a little, for a high school sport, just a little part of your life. And have fun, I keep telling Jordan every time he says a bad shot, just keep smiling. That's pretty much my motto this whole like season is, oh, just keep smiling, Jordan, you got this. And playing for fun, I guess, for me, I don't get mad after a bad shot, and it just, it makes for a better round. For Michaela, these will be her last swings for Stewartville. Jordan will be back for another round next year in hopes to inspire her teammates. I want those girls to look at me and say, oh, I want to go to state like her. So it's pretty cool to see those girls look up to me like that. Competing at state will be something to remember, and long after Jordan and Michaela make their final walk up the 18th hole, the memories these two share will last much longer than the links. <laughs> we know how to make each other laugh and just kind of challenge each other, so we have a lot of fun on the team. That's basically, that's all golf is about, is just to have fun with it and keep smiling, I guess. <laughs> Stewartville's team motto all year long has been in golf as in life. It's the follow through that makes a difference. Jordan and Michaela begin play at the state tournament on Tuesday.